This video is going to show you how to change the default OU that computers get placed in when you join them to a domain. So by default, they end up going into this computer's directory. Now, I don't want them to go in there because I actually want them to go in here for a couple reasons. The, the main reason is in case I do have group policy um, settings that are under this OU, which I will in the future, that I want to get applied to as soon as possible, such as adding um, antivirus or something. All the computers that join the domain, I want them to go right into this OU, not the computer's OU, because I'm not going to have any policies. You can't apply any policies to that. It's not an actual OU. Um, so what I want to do is change it to this one. And the way to do that is to run a command from the command prompt or PowerShell prompt, and you have to run it as an elevated administrator prompt. So, for example, this PowerShell prompt down here, I'm going to right-click, I'm going to run as administrator. Now the command we're going to be using is redircmp, redirect computer. And if we do a switch question mark to read the help or any kind of info about it, it tells you where container DN is a distinguished name of the container that will become the default location for newly created computer objects. And also note that the domain functional level must be at least Windows Server 2003 for this command to work. What we need to do is find the container DN, the distinguished name. How do you find that? Well, in a previous video, I showed you that if in your Active Directory users and computers, if you go up to the view in your menu, you go down to Advanced Features, click on that, and you can see that now it's checked. We now have extra folders and information that we can get to on all of these OUs and folders. So we don't want them to go to the computers. We want them to go to this WDS directory. So we're going to right-click on it, go to Properties, go to the Attribute Editor, and here's our distinguished name. And if we view it, we can just copy and paste it. But because I have a space in here, we're going to have to double quote this. Otherwise, the command's not going to work. If you don't have spaces, uh, this should work. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our prompt. We're going to type redircmp space and then paste it. Now, let's double quote this. Just be on the safe side and hit enter redirection was successful so let's join this Windows 8 machine to a domain I'm going to hold down Windows key hit W type in domain hit enter change go ahead and type in not creative internal supplier domain admin credentials All right, we are now part of the domain. Let's go back over here. Let's see if it worked. All right, we're going to refresh this. And there's our client PC. So by default now, all computers that join the domain are going to be placed in this WDS folder, or OU actually. Hopefully this tip has helped you out, and uh, please leave a comment below. Don't forget, check out PCX.com where all the blog posts and information, full tutorials with screenshots on all the new videos are posted. And talk to you guys later.